play or see if you can help, right? Because at the end of the day, what's the most important thing? Patient care, right? If a patient's dying, I'm sorry. Like, I don't care what, you know, and this is, and when I was a med student, the best thing I did is just stay out the way. Like, situational awareness will get you far in life, okay? Because if you can't read the room and you don't know what's appropriate, no one's gonna want you in their program. You know what I mean? So, and keep in mind, being a sub I, no one's looking at like how much knowledge you know. Like, obviously, um, obviously, like if you, if you don't know much, or it's like you're not where you should be as a fourth year, it might be concerning. But like, no one likes a know it all, show it off person because you're gonna have to work with a team for three years, right? And people look at if you're teachable and if you get along with everybody. So if there's two sub eyes and one of them is a super smart genius, but they're like always arguing with everyone or they think they're a know-it-all and they're just like resistant to, to like learning, right? Um, and then the other person might not know as much, but they're still intelligent, but they're a team player willing to learn. They're... Um, teachable that person's gonna get ranked higher right am i still talking about being a doctor unfortunately what are my thoughts on chiropractors i hate them i don't like chiropractors there's i've seen more damage from chiropractors than good I think that, you know, getting adjusted here and here and there is fine. But I've seen a lot of, you know, degenerative disease from people who've gotten consistent chiropractor sessions or whatever they're called. Um, massage therapy is great. Note the difference. Massage therapy, you're just, you know, dealing with the muscles. Chiropractors are constantly snapping, 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 and that's like, there's actual, if you read the literature, um, they've noted like degenerative changes in people's um, bones because of the consistent crack, crack, crack. It's like literally the cartilage keeps snap, snap, snap. So, oh, acupuncture is, acupuncture is great. I think acupuncture is amazing. The only fellowship I might do is um, integrative medicine. And that's where they um, talk about acupuncture, supplements, um, you know. I, I'm all for that. I think acupuncture is amazing. It's an old, um, is it the Chinese that started acupuncture? I'm not sure, sorry if I'm wrong. Sorry if I'm ignorant. But it's great medicine and it's been proven for years to help. <sighs> Scale from one to 10, how difficult would you say your journey to med school and throughout? I would give it a solid seven. I don't think I overcame like insane obstacles, but it definitely wasn't the easiest thing. And I don't have any doctors in my family. I had no one to show me the way. I'm not someone who comes from a rich doctor family who set everything up for me and I was good to go. No, I worked for everything I have. Um, I had to learn a lot of things by myself. Um, you know, but at the same time, I wasn't like homeless in the street. My parents are drug addicts who couldn't help me. No, like my parents are amazing people. They helped support me <laughs> and they helped me through my journey. They did a lot of things for me. Um, what med schools rejected you? I don't think anybody did. I only applied to like four med schools. So, and I just picked my favorite one. I do family practice is my specialty. Family medicine. Um, what foundation am I wearing? I don't, I think I'm wearing, I think I'm just wearing concealer. I sometimes just dot concealer all over my face because I don't like to wear like a heavy um, face of makeup at work. I think this is the Dior one. 
If you guys know me, you know, I love everything Dior. Um, thank you. You never know. I used to not wear makeup to work, but I'm like, what if my husband's there today? <laughs> Dior and Future. Do I have any ophthalmologist friends? No, I don't. Um. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. You guys are so nice. Oh my gosh, you're playing FM. Con congrats for making it this far and good luck. I'm 26. How do, you, how do I feel about neurology? I don't feel any type of way. I think they're extremely intelligent doctors. Um, it's a great specialty if, if you're interested. One of my, um, one of my uh, close friends from med school, they matched uh, pediatric neurology which I think there's like, I don't know, but he said there was only like 12 programs in the country or something. And I was like, he's very smart though. He scored really high on his board, so. Um. Can you play Pound Town 3 Remix? What is that? Who is this? I know the second remix. How about orthopedic surgeons? I don't know. Uh, I dated this guy. One of my exes is, I think he's about to finish his orthopedic surgery residency and I don't like him that much. <laughs> I think the ortho bro stereotype is very true. It's like they're just bone doctors. They don't even know how to manage like blood pressure. Refer to medicine. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still in the request box. My ortho ex, I talk about him sometimes. He, you guys, I have not seen this man in seven years, right? He's in my Instagram DM requests. He lives there. He's always like messaging. He's always swiping up. He's dying to know where I matched. He's dying to know what my specialty is. He's a forever fan. But I dated him like maybe seven or eight years ago. So long ago. But I have not seen him in... <laughs> <laughs> favorite topic i've studied um i liked physiology a lot in med school what else pathology was fun um how do i know he's an ortho because i've talked to him what do you mean getting matched in med school. Um, okay, so in order to be a doctor, you have to do four years of med school and then you have to do a residency. And in order to do residency, you match to a residency program. So um, the process for applying to college and med school is you can apply to multiple schools and you can receive multiple acceptances and then you pick which one you wanna to go to, right? That's not how it works for residency. For residency, you interview, and then at the end of interview season, everybody ranks. So all the students rank their pro their favorite programs, and all the programs rank their favorite students. And then all of it goes into this weird algorithm computer, and on match day, everyone gets matched. You get matched to one place. Like, you don't really get to choose where you go. Some people are really happy, and they match their top choice or their top second choice. Some people are really upset because they matched number eight or whatever. And, and a select few don't match. And obviously, they're not happy at all. Fave way to study. Um, I used to do a lot of practice questions. So you world, you know, do as many practice questions as you can. Um, do you think we're fans for asking your specialty? No, I think he's a fan. 